Welcome back to the Weird and Proud, Proud Podcast. Pod. James. Uh, Sorry, I was feeling good today. James has had a couple drinks. Let me, let me, you come in in your part. Actually, we could play around with, but you can't just go out of the gates. I should have like probably that. briefed let me, you on that. Yeah, well, right, is this one ahead. of your many surprises? Hello and welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. It's Sam and James. James. We will, maybe we will work on it. You do have a good voice. That wasn't bad. I kind of hit the harmony a little bit. <laughs> it just took me by surprise. I know. I was practicing with Peach downstairs. Oh. She's cuddling. I know. She's in She's cuddles She's such mode. a good girl. Hi, everyone. Happy Easter or Easter Monday or whenever you're listening to this, of course. But we are recording this on Easter. Eh, are you gonna say something? Happy Easter, months after Easter, whenever you're listening. <laughs> um, but of course, we did go to brunch this morning, and there may have been a beverageino that was um consumed. I think part of a great brunch, and just in our definition, is having a cocktail or two. Like you can have brunch. There's plenty of people. Hey, for those of you that don't drink, good for you. Yeah, not in my world i'm gonna have some cocktails with brunch and yeah i mean i only had one but it was it was aggressive and i said i wasn't gonna drink today or like in my mind i was like i'm definitely not going to but it is what it is so you know so if james has something off the key, french toast was worth it oh my god we had the most amazing french toast we ate so much we got three entrees <laughs> and had planned to bring some home did not happen. Ate no. everything. No, it was so good. Um, but we have an amazing episode for you guys. It's going to be extra spicy, extra special, because, again, Jesus has risen. Praise the Lord. And I, I think he actually just took a long weekend. He just had He's gone for three days. Then he came back. Um, someone was saying that Taylor Swift's reputation song and soundtrack would have been what Jesus would have played if Taylor Swift was. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, sorry, Jesus about, isn't his sorry about the heavy era. laugh to those of you listening, but that was genuinely really funny. Yeah. I'm wearing my Taylor Swift, Swift uh, concert t-shirt today. You are. Karma is my boyfriend. I could not believe what how many people got that reference at the concert. Like, James, I, I you, know. Are you on crack? I know, but it's like, yes, I get it. It's like when I when I see someone with a Packers shirt, I'm going to say something. The number no, of yeah, people, like, 100%. even me going just to a porta potty in the parking lot, everyone was like, oh, Carmen's my boyfriend. Like, right Duh, away. James. It was instantaneous. Duh. It was impressive. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not on YouTube or if you, he's obviously, he has a shirt that says Karma on it. Um, and he did wear it to the, you are such a Swifty because if you haven't seen some of these videos, we obviously went to the Taylor Swift concert last May. I can't believe that was almost a year ago. You know what I watched again last night? What? The Taylor Swift, go to YouTube and look up the Taylor Swift NPR tiny concert hall. No, everything she it's does is magical. Brilliant. No, it's absolutely genius. It was great. Yeah, Anyways, really how did good. we get to this point? We just literally went off the rails. Okay. Anyway, I can explain it later. In James's <laughs> science corner. Oh, we'll teaser! Yeah. Oh, Spoiler yeah. alert. Um. Okay. We actually we do have a great episode for you, and we're covering like some of my favorite topics to discuss. Things that just fascinate me. Um. And James has his weird corner. Obviously, let's go over the table of. Oh, wait. Before we go to the table of contents. Reminder too: if you haven't got your tickets for the live show, make sure you're going to samantharamsdale.com slash events to get your tickets because it's coming up sooner. Like, I feel like April is going to go by so fast. It's going to be here before we know it. It's April tomorrow. I know. April 1st is when this comes out, which is wild. So we're going to Florida. We're going to Chicago, Boston. Obviously, we're doing a show in New York, Long Island, on Long Island, not in Long Island. So get your tickets now. Yes. If you, you like live in and near or around any of those places. Yeah. Be there. Be square. Come say hi. Um. All right. Transition. Transition. We are transitioned to the table of content. So here's what you have to look forward to on this extra special episode. <laughs> First, we're going to talk because I am fascinated with holidays 
You do love holidays. You're so good at holidays. I just love facts about holidays because it is like, you know, first of all, it's topical. Um, So just like a couple weird facts about Easter that I bet you didn't know. I can't wait. I don't even know these. Like, this is something you have not yeah, told me. Yeah, but you'll probably know half of them. You know, we'll probably know all of them, actually. Um, but we do have some weird facts about Easter. We have... So, for our weird watch, it's going to be Three Body Problem Part 2. Because we had watched, like, up to... Ep- I think it was, like, episode five or six last... The last time we did this. The way I describe podcast. it is episode not enough. Because <laughs> I want more. <laughs> well, hopefully... There should be a season two. The idea is there's going to be a season two. If you haven't watched it yet, it's worth it. And again, I think it's something that's like entertaining for the whole population. Like uh, someone older can watch it. Someone younger, men, <laughs> I women. was waiting for the choice of word in the pause. The and you whole, went with population. The whole population. Where else could you have gone? What were some Generations. Other... Gener- for all the generations. I was waiting for the for other For all of the world. That could have happened. But it, it is just like something that I think everyone will enjoy. And it's... It's um, it, I think it's still like we were saying. It's still like one of the most popular shows on Netflix. It better be. I know. Um, so watch it. We're not going to do any spoilers, but I just have some more theories. There will be things. spoilers. Uh, really? Well, if they haven't seen it, they'll probably well, learn something yeah, they didn't sure, know about. Sure. So technically, wouldn't that be a spoiler? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, I and be... I'll do timestamps again. So if you want to skip, I. I I don't like if being you don't spoiled hear about if it. I don't want to spoiler. So that's why I'm so aggressive okay, okay, about okay, okay. telling people about potential. Yeah, yeah, spoilers. yeah. I mean, some people do get really upset. That's like, why I'm, I would be the same way. Totally. Okay, I'll put the timestamps in the description. I'm trying to get better at that. Hopefully, that helps. You can just skip that part if you really want to be extra cautious. Um. Then our other weird topic of the day that. I kind of talked a little bit last episode or someone had called in and mentioned it. And of course, now that, you know, we talked a little bit about it. Now I keep seeing all of these, you know, pop-ups on social media of it. I've been extra interested in it this week. So we're going to talk about Lake Lanier and it's kind of crazy. If you haven't heard about it, I'll do like a little intro of it. And um, we'll talk about like some of the theories around Lake Lanier and I'll be interested, too. I know a couple of people are from Georgia. I'll be interested um, if there are any follow-ups, if anyone has any specific stories about it, if you live near there. And then, of course, we have James Weird Corner, which <laughs> I'm a little nervous. To tell. Oh, you should be. You should be very nervous. <laughs> and then, of course, we have some weird secrets, a plethora of weird secrets. Great we kind of word. have, like, I, yeah, Love I know. Love that word. Um, it's, it's, yeah, we, it's nuanced. How about that? Specific? Nuanced. Yeah, they're specific. like very specific, Good. like niche. I like specific. Niche type secrets. Um, so without further ado. We need like another like you know. Oh, that was a good start. Keep going. Just back. Now that's what I'm talking about. Is that a tricky That was baller right there. Hell yeah. Baller, he says. Baller. That is such like a white person thing to say. Um, but you are white. True. That's True. Why I, I, like, it sounds like a great compliment. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, okay. So, guys, it's Easter. And you might not really care about this now because it's after Easter technically, but I think you will. Isn't like Monday too supposedly like a some sort of holiday or significance? April Fool's Day? Is it April Fool's Day tomorrow, too? <gasps> April Fool's. It's not. Yeah, April Fool's Day is April 1st every year. Uh, yeah, but I just forgot. I thought it was maybe April 2nd. April Fool's. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Anyways, just like some f- interesting facts about like some of the significant things about Easter, behind Easter. Like the Easter Bunny, for example. Like, the Easter Bunny is so random, if you think about it, but it actually began in Germany, and it, this is, like, pre-Christian Germany. This is, like, paganism, pagan traditions, Germany. Beautiful pagan times. And, um, there was this holiday, and it was more, again, you know, we talked a little bit about this, how it was celebrating spring, it was celebrating, too, a big thing with fertility, um... And 
it was a tradition that the Easter Bunny lay eggs and like as the all children do. as all <laughs> colorful eggs. And they were delivered to children who were well behaved. So oh. it's kind of like Santa Claus ish, you know, in a way, except like you get like these also candy stolen eggs. from paganism. Right. And we did talk about that we did. on our weird, Just a weird Christmas episode. Not against religion. Religion won. Christianity won. Yeah. They were stronger. Yeah. And they do say bunnies are the symbol of the pagan goddess of spring and fertility. It's because you see them all the time on the dog walks. I see bunnies all over. I know. Now. We have a lot of bunnies in our neighborhood. They're just bunnies. so freaking cute. Also, why is Easter called Easter? Do you know this, James? No. Um. It, according to scholars, it was named after the Anglo-Saxon goddess Aostre, who is also depicted as a fertility goddess and goddess of dawn and light. Oh. Right? Hence more light in the spring. Because it is so interesting. There's so much about Easter that really has, like, nothing to do with Jesus or, like, God. No. Like, bunnies. No. You know? It's, I mean, I guess it's the same thing with Christmas, too. It's like, what does Santa Claus have anything to do? You know? It's just, like, random. It's, it's like they're trying to, like... Not random. It's, it's, well, I agree. Kind of. It's, it's like a mixture of holidays. It or seems a mixture random of traditions. if you fix, if you think about it. Yep. Then I don't like to talk politics and religion, but please have fun. We're just having fun with Fun's, discussions out there. Yeah. It's not random when someone people a group of leaders purposely put something out there to help Excite shape our behavior yeah, yeah yeah we followed there we are yeah and well and again it is like interesting how it is kind of a mix of and i'm these not different... saying not to follow there's some wonderful things with it yeah but if you think about it it's kind of weird and proud commercialized they've made but cadbury eggs are worth it no oh my god by the way 100 percent. yeah thank you jesus yeah literally and the art of painting eggs originates from a Ukrainian tradition. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was like a way to show also like appreciation for fertility. It was like a good luck symbol for health and fertility. Um, it was they used to use wax and dyes, um, but it really didn't start taking off and become a tradition here until Ukrainian immigrants would come to the U.S. and start doing it. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, kind of like, so that's what I mean. Like, it is just like kind of these. It's an amalgamation, so to an speak. Amalgamation, another beautiful word. You used plethora, so I thought I'd throw something in there. Yes, yes, of different like backgrounds and traditions from all over. Also, pretzels used to be really like a big association with Easter. Used to Germany kind of be. Right. You're like welcome. the food of Easter back in the day. Oh my God, we should make pretzels. I was, you know what? When we were growing up, that was like something my mom, we always used to do is like make your own pretzels. You know, you get the dough and then design your own. We need to make your own pretzel. That would be such a nostalgic thing. Yeah, we got to do that. Um, but, anyways, they were, they started in the 1950s. It was a traditional way for Germans to eat pretzels. And they, it was supposed to be like the arms of the cross is the middle of a pretzel. Oh, that makes sense. It's supposed to be a cross. And the other idea, too, was they put the hard boiled egg. Like if you see those, and I actually got some for us tonight, just because it's such a tradition, is those almost like pretzel style rolls. And they put the hard boiled decorated eggs on top. And that would be dinner. And even when I went to go to the pastry shop and pick those up for dinner tonight, the woman said, she goes, you know, the tradition, you're just supposed to just take them and crumple it up and eat it. Really? Yeah. Like almost like a sandwich. Like you kind of take it. See, but since we've been together. talking about pretzels, I can't stop thinking about dipping them into cheese and mustard sauce. Ugh. So I might have to make that too. Totally. Yeah. Um, also, do you know why we eat ham? on easter you're kind of like not knowing a lot of facts about easter i used to the, i you're right i'm blanking on some of these maybe it's the the drinks i'm actually very focused on the science corner right now <laughs> you just about wait. your segment there's a lot i got all, it's gonna I'm be scared. tough i have to connect it it's it's i'm scared when we get there okay um obviously you know it's not jewish tradition no oh that was there? a joke oh how is that? What about Jewish? I don't get it. They don't eat pork. <gasps> oh. Jeez. Right. I was like, where are you going with this? Okay. Ham. Do you know why we eat ham for Easter? No. 
because back in the day, back in paganism land, paganism land, they would like one of the ways that they could eat meat they didn't really have a way to like heat up meat or like really cook different meats so they would cure meats over winter they had to yes the pigs that would die over winter yeah and they would I, that was I like their knew thing i'd heard this one ham. before so yeah those are just some fun facts i thought those were interesting and i feel like i have to keep up with my tradition now of telling you weird facts for every holiday i love that and i those were good i got stumped on almost that's what a lot of them i was like you know i sometimes look it up and i'm like oh do people like know these you know like i feel like a lot with christmas (laughs) a lot of them were german related i should know more i know you are a german i failed a lot on that one german man how what percent of you were german no idea like i'm gonna throw out there like 70 you think it's a that very high. big both sides of the family have a lot of german so we need to do a dna test would you ever do a dna test or do you not believe in that and think you're going to be tracked don't care i know well that's why, like i'm kind of worried that you haven't done one because like what if you're you don't want to do it because you murdered someone and your dna is out there and you're like mm. you kind of seem like you would honestly be like a dexter because like you're almost like like dexter we're like on the side like you know, if you go down there, you think I'm crafty TV, enough to go murder people. That you may actually be murdering someone. Like these these work dinners. You think I'm crafty enough to do that? Honestly, like if someone, like if the police, like came to the door one night and were like, "James has been murdering people," I'd be like, "Okay, I'm like 100 percent believe it." I, one, I like people way too much to do anything. I know, like I'm kidding. That. I'm obviously kidding. You were way, I yeah. You can't even kill a bug. I'm like James. Can you kill this fly? Like there will be spiders, and he will purposely I will let it outside. Save it and make sure it doesn't get hurt, so we can let it. Spiders outside. are really important to the ecosystem in our backyard. Even same too. We used to, we had rats in our backyard, and I was like, I mean, even I too was like, oh, I just like don't like the idea of you traps said that and like too. hurting I an animal. I was a little more. Yeah, if we had to, I always said if we had to. Yeah, but even that, yeah, you struggled with too. It was like, how do we get rid of them? But we don't want to kill them. No, you never. You could never. But like, I just feel like you are crafty enough. I just mean like you're smart. Yeah, and like that's a good compliment. I take you it. know like but no, I would could, never. Yeah, but no, again, no. my DNA is out there in very many different ways. How so? What have you been doing? Well, I mean, we had one in college. We what? did what in college? We had I had microbiology. And we had to do like biological swabs and stuff like oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, but like. I my, Also, my senior thesis was in DNA. So I studied my own nuclei. Oh, you studied your own nuclei? True. What does that even mean? It's just plural for nucleus of your cells. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Like, I honestly, like, I have questions, but I honestly, I feel like it's not right to ask, you know, for the listener's sake. Um. Okay. Happy Easter. Bon Pasqua. Bon Pasqua. Bon Pasqua. That sounds Italian. It is. But I'm totally butchering that. And anyone who's Italian wants to punch me in the face. Um, okay. Transition. Love the beat. You love the beat. Super happy Sick beat. Yeah. Okay. So weird watch. This is gonna be we're gonna talk a little bit about the three body problem. And this is why, too, I'm, like, confused why we could have too many spoilers because, I mean, again, it, it nothing really gets resolved, and it really kind of leaves you on a super big cliffhanger. I can't wait for the next seasons. Unless, like, I meant to go check and see if there were any other episodes, but it was just weird how they left us off. I will say that was my biggest issue. Obviously, we finished all the episodes up on netflix if you haven't seen it yet netflix has been notorious for releasing everything all at once not mm-hmm. in episodes right except with love is blind love is blind they do okay some of them like the really big ones do they? they do and like this must couple... have been a tester because i think they released eight episode an eight episode arc is a usual yeah common like okay we'll sign on for eight to ten episodes yeah. right yeah that's what most studios even netflix studios pay for Sure. So eight episodes is the standard length. If you look at almost any season of a show, yep. it's around that until yep. they get more established. Then it might be yep. longer, whatever they need to tell the story. But this, I think we're going to have to wait. Well, I just don't want to wait too long because it really like leaves you. I mean, it, and again, spoiler alert, but the aliens come. Well, they haven't come yet, but like the aliens have 
like begun their the takeover. The question is, are they really aliens? That is the question. It really kind of, you know, leaves on this also cliffhanger too about is who it they just threw up into space. Yep. What was that guy's name? I can't remember. I was like, I should have written down that guy, the guy who they take know, his brain and throw it into space. Either. Anyways, um, but like, what ends up happening? Like, does he come back somehow? Um, just a lot of questions, but of course now there's a lot more discourse online too about the theory. What is he the one that's in space with the AI? Da -na 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 -na. I know. Did they take him already? Um, but there's just a lot of discourse to online about how much again is truth, you know, or based on some true facts about what we've already begun to do when it comes to trying to communicate with the aliens with the extraterrestrial but you know it's also brought up these theories too kind of like the permi the fermi paradox fermi paradox which if you missed last episode the fermi paradox is this idea that again with how big the universe is there has to be some sort of intelligence out there in one way shape or form or other life out there um but there's all these theories on okay why have we not run into them yet yet like how have we not managed to you know other than blurry you know ufo pictures here and there there we really isn't a hundred percent guaranteed proof none of those are actual ufos those are all man-made oh okay sure 100%. that's what they want you to think but it, you know they actually want you to think that but there UFOs. is you know quote unquote you know what some people consider evidence true but they are ufos unidentified flying objects does not mean they're from another world. True. True. So there was this theory that I thought was really interesting that keeps getting brought up is the dark forest theory. Have you heard about this? This one I know. Okay. Tell me. As applied to the three body theory. Yeah. So in a dark forest, you can't see yeah. what exactly is going on. Yep. Well, and. It's kind of like if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Right. Yeah, and they do talk a little bit about it. Okay, good. I just want to make sure you weren't. Just want to test you. I, just because I missed a little on Easter doesn't mean I'm sleeping. <laughs> um, but it's also the idea, too. Like, if you're a predator and you're in the dark woods, you are observing, you're quiet. You're listening. You're listening. You're watching. You're not going, hey, over here. <laughs> like us fucking ding-dongs. You know, like, that is so Earth. Like, shut up, you know? <laughs> the eye roll. If you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> you would have seen the classic Samantha eye roll where she almost rolls her eyes out of her head. But, like, that is, you know, kind of the theory that the other, you know, quote, unquote, more developed or smarter species out there are like, we're just going to see how this plays out. We got nothing but time. Yep. We're just going to watch and see what these morons do. So, you know, so that's the other thing, too, is that they they know of us. Like, we've made it pretty freaking clear with all the shit we're just, like, shooting into the sky. And I saw a really funny meme today that yeah. was uh, <laughs> an Easter egg that was all uh, painted in camo camouflage yeah looking at the other easter eggs going it's like you're fucking trying to be found <laughs> same yeah. theory well that yeah it's just it's one of those things that it's just an interesting theory that gets you know brought up and talked about that it's you know it's it, i of course i've talked about this before i just know that there has to be i mean i don't know but like there has to be other life out there and you know i'm sure like we're like the boat the party boat on the river everyone's trying to have like a relaxing you know time on a river and you just see earth just floating by just you know, screaming screaming crushing beers polluting the water you know and they're probably just like these morons but you know will will we actually have proof actual like 100 percent proof in this lifetime i don't think so you know, like not in my lifetime. And this is what you took from the three body problem. I love this. Yeah, because it again, a lot of it is real. Not like the story itself and obviously what ends up playing out, but a lot of no, it's based on another, a lot of truth. I'm going to mispronounce it, but there's also the gym, uh, gypsum gymnosperm theory. Okay. Which is that 
life on our earth started from somewhere else, right? Yeah. So, of course, we have religion. We That's one plausible pause for effect theory. And then there's also uh, evolution, which where the first cell started, was it in the bottom of the ocean at a volcano? Where did it come from? Yeah. Or could something have floated in on an asteroid from outer space, right? Yeah. That's where this kind of connects to, right? I know. That was always really interesting how, to the three-body problem started out where they were asking the, you know, idea of, like, are you religious? Like, do you believe in God? Like, some of these top scientists, you know, were asking each other, like, hey, do you believe in God? Are you religious? And many do. And many do. But, and they should. But also, there were a couple of people that responded and said, no, I'm a scientist. Where it's like, you know, this idea that you have to be, you know, either or. But there were plenty of people that. Which is good. Also I'm both, not, but it's just another interesting. In none of my theories did I say that God did or did not exist. Totally. It's totally. just how have we progressed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, deep topics. To not, to not, yeah, to have light pillow talk. Light pillow talk on Easter Sunday. Um, But just, again, highly, highly recommend. Check it out. And let Look us up know stuff. your thoughts. I'm dying. Search things. Search things. Let us know. Comment below. Or send, again, I saw some of you guys have been good at um, figuring out, I think it's in Spotify specifically, there's like a feedback like area where you can type into us your thoughts too. So if you're not on YouTube or whatever, um, you can send us there or message us too if you like some of these topics and what you thought about it. Because it is, it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Okay. Now. Transition. Two. Lake Lanier, you guys. And this could be like an hour on Lake Lanier itself and the history of it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to talk about some of the most interesting things that I learned so far about Lake Lanier. Um, what I took from my searches on the internet. Kind of summarize it for you guys. Um, I know some other podcasts have done like more in-depth looks at it too. But there has been just like some newer information that's come out. There's some new content. Like I know there's a movie that's coming out or has come out, but Lake Lanier, James, before I brought it up to you, had you ever heard of Lake Lanier? Yes. Oh, you had? Yes. How? Nerdy shows I watch. Okay. But nothing like haunted, like it's spooky, more no. like dan like no, the, the exactly. no, 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 it was, it was, it was in one of them that talked about like, not spiritual, but yeah, places that are haunted. Yeah. So Lake Lanier is in Georgia, okay, and it this is like, you know, early, early 1900s. There was a thriving community, and I think it's Fourth County. I'm, like, definitely not going to pronounce that right, but um, it was a community within Fourth County in Atlanta, or near Atlanta, Georgia, and it was called Oscarville was the name of this. Let me just triple check that I'm pronouncing that right. Now I'm like triple checking myself. It is Oscarville. So this community, Oscarville. Did I say Oscarville? I think I did, right? Close enough. What did I say? Don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of that. I got the song in my head. <laughs> Nick Chattacucci. Um, So this community was called Oscarville. It was a primarily black community. And... You know, again, if you're thinking about the time that the world is in, that especially the United States is in at this time, early 1900s, there was a lot of racism that was going on. It was in the South, a lot of racism. And, you know, there was a couple like horrible events that happened regarding like lynching of some young kids that were blamed, some young African-American kids that were blamed for things that they were never really proven of um, and said to be blamed for. Um, just a lot of trauma that happened in this small community that really was pretty thriving um, at this time. Like they had their own church, they had their own stores, they had their own businesses, and they like apparently were like had like a whole building of fairies was like a big way that they were making money in the community. So come this is like early 1950s. I think it was like the U.S. Army was helping to help with this project, but they definitely the government was involved. Yeah, I the government that. was involved, but they were looking at Oscarville and this section of Forth County 
and they were like, you know, we really could use a bigger water source here because Atlanta, it's pretty close to Atlanta. Atlanta was starting to boom at this time um, for water, for also for like electricity. Weren't they like electricity like, too? Yeah, yep. it was like a big energy source. Like have these huge were dams. Big at that time. Yeah, that was a huge way to create energy. So they were going to build this huge dam, which was then in turn going to flood Oscarville. So, you know, the government, so to so speak, said they came in, they offered these people money. You know, I think there's like over 500 people living in the community, but I think like over what, 70, 75, 70, I 71 think I read houses, 71 families. families. Yeah, 71 families had to 56,000 acres. Yes. I think it was. Yeah. 65,000 you said 56,000 56,000 acres yeah and it's it's huge like if you look at it on a map it is huge and they ended up building what's called Lake Lanier so what's crazy is ever since this town was basically flooded you know again the government said that they paid these people really well to move out when they in fact apparently allegedly said you know these people got half of what they paid for for their house or their property from the government. And they also, the government said they moved all the bodies because they had a cemetery in town. And the government was like, no, we're going to move all the, you know, all the, you know, graves and the bodies over to, you know, wherever they, the family requests it. Apparently, allegedly, that also was not done. And they left, I think it was like over 100 bodies too at the bottom of this lake, okay? And there was so much trauma that was in this small town, all this racism that was, you know, felt towards them. And ever since the 1950s, they have had, I mean, like now, I think it's up to about 700 deaths now in 2024. And I don't know when it was officially built out or like when it finished construction. I mean, they spent over $2 million, which is now equivalent to $19 million to build this dam and to build this lake and if you live in georgia you definitely know about it because it's apparently like i mean they said over like nine million people go to lake lanier every summer or whenever to go for like vacation or tourism so it's huge for partying like they have a margaritaville on this lake but again like over 700 people over the years have passed away in some way shape or form in this lake and there are a couple like kind of ghost stories that are surrounding Lake Lanier where, you know, a lot of car accidents of cars like sliding into, you know, the bridges obviously going over Lake Lanier and people sliding off into the water. And they have no idea why. And they're like, what happened for them to like slide off the bridge? And people like see shadows and figures all the time. People will feel like tugs at their legs. That one feel is, like they're that be one's a little under. creepy with the whole cemetery thing. Yeah, and well, that's you know, like people have also like felt like people have been doing diving expeditions down there to explore. What cemetery movie doesn't have arms coming out of the cemetery to grab you? Right, right. Well, like, of it's, course. Just don't go on Lake Lanier. But I also am really, really curious to hear your guys' stories. If you live near Lake Lanier or if you've been there, if you live in Georgia, if there are any stories. There's like this one classic story called The Lady of the Lake. And this was another one, too, of like two best friends that were driving home. I think this was like in the 60s where they were driving over a bridge, drove into the water, and they couldn't find their bodies for like two years. And they eventually were had floated like some fishermen found them floating and it was like like they were apparently together you know as best friends so like it was just kind of a nice story that they ended up like finding them together but just lady of the lake kind the of like the of, sirens from the odyssey back yeah in and people times. will like see them all the time in the same dress that they were wearing when they went into the lake and again like a lot of people will feel you know someone grab their foot or their leg you know, and try and pull them underwater. Um, or, you know, again, you'll feel, you'll be swimming by yourself and you'll feel like a foot or someone and no one's there. You know, stuff like that. But it's spooky water. Yeah. But, you know, they have like made a rule now that you're not allowed to swim in there anymore. Like you're not supposed to even go in the lake because of the amount of accidents really? that have happened. Yeah. They, they have like, no swimming signs. 
that are set up and they really like it's Margaritaville I don't know if it's like against not, the law, but Margaritaville is not going to be happy about that. So Margaritaville is one of them that had to put up a sign. Apparently, there's only one area where you can put your feet in. You cannot go swimming by Margaritaville anymore. Wow. Because of the amount of accidents. Like kids, just people just drowning. Like you'll just go out for a swim and they just won't come back. And it's like, you know, I don't know. It's, it's it, There's just no explanation. But you could say like, you know, I don't know if there's currents in a freaking lake, but. There's absolutely currents in there. Especially if it's big enough, but it's just, you know, there's really not not a huge explanation for it other than it's just weird. And there's a lot of the, you know, this idea that it's cursed, starting with Oscarville and, you know, the residents that were done dirty now. Well, they kind flooded of it. So there's right. other water sources feeding it. That's where currents would absolutely come from. Totally. It's and not I, like they got know, a hose going in there. Maybe the Chattahoochee River. Chattahoochee? Um, Chattahoochee Coochie. So anyway, so there is a movie again that's supposed to come out. Like Lady at the Lake is supposed to come out as a movie too. I don't know if you know if they're not really documentaries or they're more like fictionalized, but I feel like there should be a documentary done on this lake. Should we do one? Do you want to? I feel like we should go to Lake Lanier, even though it's kind of like scary. Like I don't even Rent know. Rent to Winnebago. James and I keep talking about how much fun it would be for like our next vacation if we just rented a Winnebago. November, <laughs> during your birthday, we bring the cats and the dogs. Well, that's what we were saying that we can fit we rent like everyone on it. Yeah, we get the cats, we get the dogs, and we just like start driving and just take the world by storm. If we I have think the animals, November in Georgia would be great because you can kind of like work anywhere. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I know it's obviously not the same. November but... in Georgia, like, we just drive down the coast. You like the ocean, so we do a little bit of ocean stuff. Yeah. But we shoot a month-long documentary in Lake Lanier. A month-long documentary coming now to Netflix. We should. Peach would be on the case. Peach would love it. She would be She's on the case. She's a southern hound. She's a little southern hound, isn't it? Yeah, we could. Get, the only thing is, is like we need to learn. We need to get diving equipment. Like that would be done. I mean, I you know love how abandoned I feel about places. My snorkel. I know, but I like just learn to scuba. We need to learn to dive. But it's just, I mean, that's just so spooky. Like going down and just seeing buildings that are underwater does not scare frozen me. in time. I'd be excited. Um. Also, if you know me, you know I love abandoned buildings. I don't know what it is about them. It doesn't even like sometimes have to be haunted. I just love like time capsule places that it's like almost nothing has changed. Like people just got up and left. I don't know why it just is like so fascinating to me. Always has been. I always drag you around to all these abandoned buildings. I love abandoned buildings. I don't know what you it really is. You really do. And we've been in a lot of them. We've been in a lot of them. And, like, especially this idea, too, of them being underwater, you know, I think it's just this idea of, like, standing in a place and being like, oh, my God. Not like, to call you out, but could, could you really do that what? underwater no. scuba? I didn't no. think so. No, absolutely not. And I think, too, that's the other idea. Like, I don't know if I ever could really ever Yeah, do I it. can't do heights. You already know that. Like, that's. Yeah, that's your. Out. I don't do heights. But. Underwater scuba, that I'll, I'll take care of that part. Yeah. You take care of the animals. I'll go yeah, get go some, take some photos down there. for yeah. me. But I just abandoned. And this also has always sparked my interest because it's like this has happened more than a lot of people know about. Like hundreds of towns or communities like in the U.S. have been flooded and are like underwater. There's even a place in Stanford. Yep. There's a community in Stanford where we live that is underwater that used to be like a bustling community that built like weave woven baskets. And what? Well, they had it just kind of went away for no reason. Well, yeah. It's they literally were like and we need to like build a dam. Water over yeah, it, yeah, and they move yeah, they had to like move a like a pond or something over and just flooded this whole entire community. So wild, and it just is crazy too. Like if there is a drought, which is the same with Lake Lanier, if there's enough of a drought, you know, I think they they had said like in 2017 they had a bad drought, and you can just like see trees like just sticking like up and up. tops of buildings. Mm -hmm. How insane is that? And that's another thing too why they think a lot of people drown if they hit something or you're just not expecting there to be like all this debris underwater. So just like a crazy idea. This has been on my list. There's. Also, so many other places, like I've mentioned, that are 
either flooded or abandoned communities. And it also like has, you know, again, this big theory behind like racism in the U S too, that a lot of these were black communities. Same thing with like central park. I don't know if you ever studied like the idea of central park used to be like a thriving black community. And then the government was like, "Mm, actually we want to put a park here and just like kick them all out. Did not know that. Yeah. There's a lot of places like that. That's you awful. Know, that, again, is like a whole other and we did it hour-long an podcast. Entire but. indigenous group of people. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Time and time again. Time and time again. But interesting stuff. Again, hopefully a documentary comes out soon because I want to learn more. But there's there's a lot of information out there if you search for it. And it's uh, it's weird. I'm in love with the new beats. <laughs> Transition. James. James. Oh, what was it? It was like James fights crime and he says fast. Why a superhero? He fights crime. No, it was like James feelings. No, facts, not feelings. Andy Griff fights crime. What? This one, I, I'm planting this seed okay. with this one today. I yeah. Oh, okay. To sure. bring this into the future. Okay. As with some that I love with yep. like Occam's razor. Sure. Right. We're going to talk about the Zeno effect today. Okay. Okay. Keep but this layman's layman's we'll, terms. Let's make it exciting well, first. Give us like a you one want an sentence overview? summary. Summary. Okay. I will. What if I told you that observing dark energy is an act of murder? Would you be excited to hear more about that? Looking at dark energy is act of murder. Observing dark energy is an act of murder. Is an act of murder. Is an so act if of I look murder. at dark energy, I'm murdering someone. Potentially, you already talked about it. Now let's. Can I target it? The dark energy at certain people. I think there there might be a way to do that. Okay. Let's let's start I'm with. Interested. Let's start with some connections between abandoned buildings. Sure. Lake Lanier. Yeah. And the three body problem. This is what you've been thinking about for the last. That's why minutes. I haven't been able to respond because I'm connecting everything to this. So. <laughs> In the idea of the Zeno effect. Sure. Right? In So everyone, t- we, we mentioned this word quantum physics or quantum mechanics. People don't really understand necessarily or know exactly what that is. And it's really Dave Matthews saying about it. It's the space between, it's the space between stuff, right? Sure. It's the space between protons, neutrons, that kind of energy. And it's, we always look at things as a mass or we look at a abandoned building right the walls and what a building looks like sure but none of that really matters it's what's the the nothingness that's in the building that gets you kind of excited about the whole thing right Right. it's like it's not that it was a building it's what was this what was in right what did this used to be that energy what people were in here exactly so again back to the xeno effect is that observed dark okay what it is is observed dark energy does not decay meaning if James. spirits exist wait follow me <laughs> if something let's just say that you nobody believed in ghosts ever okay then they wouldn't exist remember right. how i always say yeah yeah yeah, that yeah, if yeah, yeah, yeah i don't yeah. necessarily have to believe it but if somebody else does i okay. do sure right but if you're observing something it's less likely to go away so yeah. lake lanier let's talk about the energy of dumping water and building a lake around what was at one time a thriving community lying to people and having a lot of dark energy about that that dark energy might not die according to the xeno effect right let's also talk about what we were just talking about the abandoned building the dark energy or the things that existed in that building if it's remembered isn't going to die and maybe there are places so this so i'm giving science to what no but i'm giving science that might lead to that is that in the xeno effect the idea of it in theoretical physics is that or energy in those cannot be created places, or destroyed exactly you're right on that's it's just it's right i know in there. i'm literally so smart you nailed it and that's where mm-hmm. today's science corner is exploring and look up the xeno effect right xeno with an x no with a z z-e-n-o oh damn but you know like how like sometimes an x is a z Yes, Z-sound. true. Like Xena Warrior Princess, is that yes. what you were thinking of? I That's kind exactly of figured what, what you were thinking. That's what you were thinking. Of. <laughs> no, this is with a Z. Sure. So the idea that yes, when we observe things, we keep them alive. Got it. 
That's great. That's James's science corner because we're going to bring that back to more. Okay. But I also liked it because it kind of connected everything together. What is like your Google search? Like, where do you find this stuff? This is like. Oh, I already knew the Xeno effect. We just hadn't talked about it yet. Oh, and you've just been dying to talk about it. Well, I actually did find the line of observing dark energy as an act of murder. And I thought that kind of you related. Thought that would be something I'm interested in. And then once we really got into Lake Lanier and all the other stuff, I'm like, Xeno effect. We need to discuss this. We haven't talked about it yet. Oh. As I said, I was planting a seed because we need to talk about that more. Got it. Is there the we go, observation guys. of energy. What do you things. think? About- it was that or we were going to talk about how the polar vortex started going in reverse. Okay, well, that's also insane. Yeah. Are we dying? Yeah, probably. It's because okay. of effects of what humans effects are we're having on the earth. It's not the first time that it's totally happened. But right now, to the extent that it's happening, we don't have to really worry about the the second coming of an ice age but the rate of oh it's actually going we're going to talk about leap seconds great we have to add seconds into our atomic clocks at some point because well we went away from uh we went away from like lunar and other types of clocks because atomic clocks are more accurate but we might have to add seconds okay. in. sorry this was number two I'm we'll save that out. for a future honestly corner. i love the effort and i love your passion we're slowing down the rotation of the earth basically okay so is it something that i need to worry about yeah (laughs) compost more compost more everyone the lesson from james's and no mo may we're going to talk about no mo may too okay coming in may i can't literally can't wait like i'm on the edge of my seat i can tell ddd wait no actually it's Secret, 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 secret. It's that time, everyone. It's a time where we listen to your weird secrets. Everyone's favorite time. Other, technically, it's your second behind James' weird corner. <laughs> I had so much fun with that one. The Zeno effect is actually really cool. No, I think honestly, like, let me know, you know, like how you guys feel about these segments. I really do love the feedback. Are you guys interested? Is it a lot? Is it not enough? What the do you, beauty what is do you think? I'm interested, so I'm gonna keep pushing it. Great. No, I love because I love that for you. Okay. Um, but let's get to the secrets. This is really everyone's favorite. Honestly, it's my favorite. And it's yeah, always I mean, is my favorite. I mean, we just love hearing from you guys. This is the time. You guys can call in. Let us know something weird, something weird you've done, something weird your family does, something weird you've never told anyone that you've done, like, oh, you know, something like, uh, I don't know, like something crazy, a crazy trip, a weird trip you've been on. Call us in at speakpipe. That's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. It's always anonymous. You can leave up to a minute, 30 seconds. And um, again, we've got a plethora this week. And you guys keep cracking me up, keep making me me giggles listening to them. So, and also kind of weird me out, but that's the point, right? Um, okay, James, are you ready? Prepared. Here we go. Hey, Sam and James, I am a huge fan. Got my boyfriend to listen to y'all, and we think that y'all are awesome and just hilarious. Come to Texas again. We want to see y'all. So, my weird story. Um, is that, so my mom is a type one diabetic and when we were growing up, she would check her blood sugar and like prick her finger, check her blood sugar. And then like, kind of like lick her little finger, you know, to get the blood off or whatever, like, you know, just routine for her. And then when we, me and my twin brother were younger, we were like, oh my gosh, mom, we want to lick the blood. <laughs> and so it just became a thing. Anytime that my mom would prick her finger to check her blood sugar, we'd be like, like stick out our tongue like we want to lick the blood which looking back it was just kind of just kids innocently being like oh mom you know mom does that thing we want to do it but it was a little weird now that I think about it and maybe I am a vampire now also speaking of that my mom's dad was also a type 1 diabetic and he was killed by his second wife she gave him a overdose of insulin and my mom hired a private investigator for that that's another story anyway thanks love y'all bye i love how you just left it off 
Also, <laughs> you uh, you left a bigger cliffhanger than the three body problem. Yeah, like literally. That, oh, by the way, you got we murdered. need a call back. Yeah, we need to hear that story. But also, that is it's just like that is such like a kid thing to do. Like you see your parent doing it, the licking of the blood, and you're just like, I want to do it. I want. I want to. I want to. No know matter what how is. weird it is, but like I don't even think they, you know, really know the significance of how weird that is. But it's just definitely maybe a vampire. Definitely maybe a vampire. Also, like it, like it does make me gag a little bit just because I hate blood. Oh, you don't like blood. That is the one thing you know, which is so funny because I do love all like these murder, true crime shows but and you documentary. Hate blood. But like in real life, yeah, I could not. You know, it's. I, especially even like my own too like i've passed out like when i've True. not even from pain i've been in the room from, like seeing my own blood been in the room when that happened to you <laughs> yeah like a, m- a couple times so and even like getting shots like i'm not even scared to like get shots but like if i see like blood coming out of after my arm, the fact i pass out yep. after the fact like literally saw blood dripping down my arm pass out like it wasn't even dripping there was a small was a tiny small bubble dot. it was not dripping this was not dripping there was a Perhaps like less than a pimple amount of blood passed out. Uh, yeah. So uh, I just can't imagine, but I can see that as like a kid thing. And, but again, like I feel like after I tasted it, it'd be like, ew, it's disgusting. Like blood doesn't taste good. It's by any salty. Means. Salty, I guess. Yeah. Do you ever like to lick your own blood? I mean, to clean up a wound. You ever, what is that quote? It was like, nobody makes me taste my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own Nobody blood. Nobody makes me bleed. That's what it is. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Uh, classic. We should watch that tonight. I know that is. We've watched that recently, though, kind of. I don't think we've watched it in a while. No? Oh, maybe not. Anyways, that is a great secret. Very weird. But we also that need to great, know about yeah. the murder in your No, family. we need to know more about that, for sure. That's crazy to me. Um, unless it's an like ongoing investigation. A, unless it's an ongoing investigation, and then definitely call us. Then. When it's we'll when it's it concluded, <laughs> please let us know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right, James, are you ready? Prepared for the next. Here we go. Hi, I keep recording this because I keep finishing and second guessing myself. But anyway, I found you on Instagram randomly. I love your try-ons and the challenges you and James do. Please come to Pittsburgh so my cousin and I can hang out with you. Um, We would have so much fun. And you just bring so much joy to our lives. So thank you for that. But I was just listening to this week's episode about the dreams and the organ donation. And I go and see and talk to mediums and psychics all the time. And um, I've always been told I have that aura about me. But I don't practice any of that. Um, but I will say that if someone is pregnant or someone's getting engaged or if something big is happening, I always know as soon as I see it. Um, so like if someone's name comes up on my phone, I instantly know what they're going to tell me. I've had dreams about people passing and waking up and they pass. Um, the other day when I saw a picture of the chief's Um, parade. Unfortunately, my first thought was there's going to be a shooting, which could be related to, unfortunately, how the world is today. But it's also strange that that was my first thought. Um, I'm running out of time, but I'll probably send another one in. Thank you guys for your podcast. So I'd always mentioned before previously how interested I am in like people's dreams or like this idea of like premonitions. Absolutely you are. Um, and it is like, it's also one of the most things where it's hard to really prove unless you just like started writing shit down or like, like marking it somewhere like the time that like you have this idea or thought before it actually happens. But it just must always be like a weird thing. Like I've had deja vu and I know we've talked about that too. That's not even really deja vu, but like it always is this really crazy feeling when you're like, oh, I feel like I already knew that. Or like I feel like I but sometimes knew that was gonna happen. Do. I know, but so, yeah, and sometimes yeah, what of course people actually, are more sensitive to it. She did predict something. What? We need to go back to Pittsburgh. 
<laughs> oh my god well i was gonna say yeah we have been to pittsburgh but on that was, the midwest just randomly driving we back we did when we did our last so road trip. much fun that I loved was pittsburgh. so much fun we went to permanente bros fun little town i did like pittsburgh a lot we'll have to go back most there. bridges in the world lots of them but just a cool like kind of like not you know trait but i guess it i mean I don't know how much it annoys you or like what kind of I'm intrigued to meet you when we come to Pittsburgh. Yes. And let us know if there are any other stories that come up. Have you seen anything about me in your future? Can you tell us what dates will be there? <gasps> yeah. Do you know when we're coming? Um, yeah. Is there anything or or like is the aliens coming anytime soon? Like, is there anything that you can tell us about the future? Tell us about the next season of Three Body Problem. Yeah, can you tell us when the season Wait, don't. No spoiler alerts. I'm no, kidding. Don't tell us that. Just tell us when season two is coming out. That would be wonderful. Um, But thank you so much for your secret. I love a dream secret. I love a weird premonitions secret. All right, James. Are you ready? Is this the last one? This is the last secret. Are you ready? Are ready. you ready? Prepared. Like, physically, mentally, emotionally. Okay, here we go. Hey there, fellow Southern Maine human here with a ridiculous dating story for you and James. When I was 18 years old, my boyfriend of five years broke up with me and I was adamant that before I went to college, I had to have had sex with somebody else besides him. So I was on a mission and ended up hooking up that summer with my sister's friend who was uh, quite a bit older than me, is about six years older than me at the time. And he, you know, was questionable. He didn't have a car. My sister used to have to drive him like to and from the summer camp he worked at so that we could hook up. And on one of the uh, nights after he left, I noticed he had left his wallet and his cell phone at my house. So I, of course, had to go through everything and went through his text messages and found a video of a girl who was putting an incredibly fancy pin up her own butt and it was wild because this pen was like, a, you know, I'm a lawyer or a doctor, freaking $50 type fancy pen up this woman's butt. Anyway, we still hooked up for like on and off for a number of years until, you know, he casually asked me if I would peg him and I was horrified and said no. And, you know, now as a grown lady, I feel like I missed an opportunity. But anyway, enjoy. I'm cackling i'm trying to like picture what a fancy pen looks like like i'm thinking like a quill pen like with a feather i think a quill pen would be too sharp yeah i was gonna say like that's that's why i'm like i feel like that wouldn't be I'm fun for anyone a twisty not a clicky sure twisting twisty. pens yeah, are yeah, fancy yeah, 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 clicky yeah, yeah, pens yeah, yeah, yeah. not so much like a leather bound pen and they have like i picture a lot of gold gold plated maybe yeah. a diamond i think diamond it looks crusted. more like a I think that there's not a lot of sharp edges. I think yep. it's very rounded. That's mm. a fancy pen to me. Okay. I know. I wish um, I wish I could see what it looked like and be like, you know, like, yeah, I feel like that'd be worth it. But so she said she butt was, is an interesting choice. She said she was 18 when this started. Yeah. I would estimate she's only like 24 now. Maybe. She said they've been hooking up for years after yeah, 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 and yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So who knows? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm intrigued by this story. Yeah, you're intrigued. Well, you know, and then he, he asked for the old pegging, which is something you love. That's why I'm wondering why did it take so long for him to get there? Right. Maybe though he didn't know. Like she saw the video, obviously. But you know, you could have brought like a pen or like jumped a hint and been like, "Hey." Is That's partly pen? why I also know that it's earlier because this couldn't have happened like. 15 years ago because there wasn't video on cell phones at that time so it mm, had to be more recent i'm using some like recent. timeline of detective yeah yeah yeah. Here. yeah 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 like video on cell phones like maybe the earliest 2008 yeah really we're just trying to break down when the pen entered the butthole so i'm thinking like 2013 when did the pen between 2012 and 15 what, why do you need such a timeline well we're playing detective right now aren't detective we? on what? i am you're trying, trying to get to, to the bottom out. of yeah. what? Where Just the, the whole timeline of the pen of the story. is now. The, the intriguing part of the story. And nothing to do with the pen. It's the timeline of the story in general. Okay. I needed something to solve. <laughs> and my, I'm trying to solve the timeline I know, of the I'm story. like, why are you becoming so obsessed with the timeline? The what video on the phone is what started it. I'm like, 
All right. Well, that gives me a timeline to work off of. Sure. So no, I'm going. No, you you I broke didn't the even, case wide open. I did not even account the pen broke the case wide open, so to speak. You and I did not account for leap seconds according to the rotation of the earth either. Were you looking at the maybe you were thinking about it too much and that gave it too much dark energy? Xeno and the Xeno effect. Xeno effect. <laughs> not to be con- not to be confused with Xeno Warrior Princess. Literally. I feel like none of that ever made any sense. But you know what? That was a gorgeous call. And I love that you're from Maine. Shout out, Mainer for life. Ay, 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 ay. We'll be in Maine somewhat soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully trying to get another show there, too, at some point. I know um, I'm due. But we love you guys. I love all the secrets. Keep them coming. We love all the plethora of weirdness and all the weird stories you guys come up with. Um, so great calls sending, today. Great calls. That's what I meant. Like Very like niche-specific. <laughs> diverse secrets today so if you want to call in and leave us a weird secret you can call in to speakpipe. that's speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod it'll also be in the description make sure you're following us on instagram weird and proud pod we have one video that's going viral right now james what about happened? the organs about the organs people are mind blown the organ video episode remember we did that about like organ transplants oh wow yeah okay yeah I know the algorithm. The algorithm got time, us on a good day. Yeah, I was like, wait, which one? I know it's the algorithm. The algorithm. We're a slave to the algorithm. But great secrets. Hopefully, you guys liked the also plethora of topics today. What do you think? Comment below on if you're on YouTube, or send us a message on Instagram, or you know, leave us a little comment if you're on Spotify. I think Apple Podcasts might let you too, but. Anyways, we'd love to hear your feedback and what you guys think and what other topics you might want us to look at. Are there other things, you know, pl- weird places? Are there weird topics you want James to do some research or James to explain? Otherwise, I'm going to pick my own. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to pick That's a threat, not a ones. promise. <laughs> uh, but we love you guys so much. We can't wait to see you in person soon, hopefully, if you're going to be in any of the cities that we're popping by. But, uh... We love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great Easter. Or, I mean, hopefully you've had a great Easter. And happy spring. Spring has sprung. Right, James? I hope so. Is it time for another drink? <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> love you guys so much. Have a great week. Love you, weirdos. Love you, weirdos. Bye.